Hi there, Horner Foods. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Good. This is the first time I've heard about the guardians. I'm just wondering what they guard against us or what, what they guard from or to or just wondering about them. They are the ones that guard against the darkness. They are the ones that travel within the light everywhere throughout the universe and have done so for billions and billions and beyond billions, trillions of years and so on. For there is never an end to creation. That is what you must come to understand. So these ones, the guardians, are here to oversee creation, to oversee the expansion of creation as everything continues to expand and it can do nothing else but expand. You see? That is what we can say about them at this time. But they are here to oversee. You could call them the overseers, but they prefer the term guardians here. Okay, Shoshana. We, we will share May we share our perspective here? Of course you may. Those beings that are known as the guardians are particularly here to guard those that are pure of heart. Namaste. Yes, very good. Very good. Would there be other questions here? I have a question. Yes. Um, I apologize. This is personal to me, but hopefully helpful to others. Um, I uh, came down with COVID this week and was very fortunate with regard to the physical symptoms. Only was sick for a few days. But I've also suddenly developed this, like, debilitating anxiety, this, like, nonstop sense of hopelessness and panic and fear. It's completely generalized. It's not a specific thing I'm worried about. Um, and I've done some research and found that that apparently is common with people uh, who've had the virus. And I'm curious whether is this just something I'm going to be experiencing temporarily while I'm recovering and getting the virus out of my system? Or if it's a longer term thing, is there any advice on how I can heal myself from this? First of all, you must know that it is all about vibration. And your vibration during this time was uh, brought down somewhat. So uh, because of the lower vibration, you would experience various things that you would not normally experience. You would not be feeling the sense of uh, heightened uh, bliss or uh, heightened uh, feelings of good and all of these things within you, you would not normally, you would not be feeling them during this time. But also understand that that which is called the COVID is not necessarily what it is. 
you must come to understand that much of this has been uh, untruth here, we will say. Uh, much of it has been a show, a purposeful show to bring about what they believe is the beginning of the new world order. But it is not going to happen here. It cannot happen. So there is no reason to believe that uh, those things that they have been saying are anywhere, in, anywhere near the truth here. So the virus that you are speaking of that they said you have doesn't necessarily mean that it was that, you see. There are many variations of viruses. And many of you have had these variations before. You call it the common cold. You call it the flu. Various things of this nature. But this so-called COVID virus is not what it is, uh, not what they are meaning it to be. And you must come to understand that, that it is not anything to be afraid of as they are attempting to make you feel that fear. Okay? You will get beyond this, you yourself, but talking to the collective, you will all get beyond this. You are already all moving beyond this, as demonstrated by those of you that spoke earlier in your conversation, that those have moved beyond the mask wearing, the control issues. You are gathering together again, not only in small groups and even large groups, but huge groups in terms of thousands and thousands and thousands of coming together, maskless, uh, vaccine-less, we will say here. Okay? It is happening. So there is no reason whatsoever to have any fear about this. Shoshana, do you have anything you add here? We will add our perspective here, if we may add, dear sister, may we add? Yes, please. Dear sister, the feelings that you have are an emotional response to fear, yes. to being afraid of something that many of the dark side have worked diligently to control us and to to hyper create hyper fear in humanity and when this is accomplished humanity becomes sicker the immune system becomes suppressed when fear is present, you see. So this is combating your immune system. Now, may, we may give you a tool, and it may sound frivolous, but in order to deprogram these emotions of fear and the other emotions that you have described, which can be distilled down to fear, he suggests you watch puppy videos. Go online, watch the funny puppy videos, watch the kitten videos, watch all of those things that bring joy to you, that bring happiness to you, that bring laughter to you, and that will create the hormones in your body to combat the the unnecessary fear hormones that are created from this cornucopia of emotion that you are feeling. We hope you will take this seriously. You must have a favorite species that you can watch. These animals are here for you to bring you unconditional love and joy. And those that have filmed them in their funniest, Spots have brought that to you to combat these feelings. Namaste. Yes, and we also add here that even though you had the so-called test to uh, tell whether you have the virus or not, there is 
little or no truth to those tests. So even though they say you have it, it does not mean you have that. It just means you are ill. You have, uh, you have succumbed in many ways, as Shoshana has said, to the fear-based tactics here. So release the fear. Find the joy as she is given here. And you will come out of this feeling wonderful after you, uh, after you move through the process that you are moving through now. Okay? Thank you very much. Yes. Would there be other I questions? I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Um, do the guardians oversee the council and, uh, or as a system busters, do they give us our marching orders? Not necessarily directly, but they are certainly involved in the entire process. As we said earlier, they are also the overseers. So they do oversee the various councils, but they do not oversee directly your own personal life. That is up to your higher self to do that. But they are here to guide as a whole, as a collective whole here. Okay? Toshana? We agree. May we share, dear sister? Yes, please. It is difficult to describe the full mission of the guardian of those known as the guardians. It is difficult for us. We can feel them in our hearts. We know what they are there for. And as given before, they are there to protect the pure of heart. This one, Joanna, that we're allowed to speak through, has had direct contact with those that you may call the guardians. And what is the feeling there is great, great faith, great, great protection, great feeling of being highly protected as if, as if each of us is a newborn and we have parents that would give their lives for us. That is how the guardians see us, you see. They protect those that seek the truth, that seek compassion and love and understanding and unity, and they create that feeling that you are on the right path and we will protect you on that path. Namaste. That's wonderful. They bring that through such power and purity. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Would there be other questions here now? Yes, this is Catherine. Yes. And I'd like to touch on the topic which is called, um, um, what they call ADD. And so that, um, I think there was a person who said that is something that he had. It's just like, well, um, and it, and I think it's a label for something that uh, the general population does experience, but as far as it's understood. And I was offered the consideration that it's a gift. So, and I, and I accept it as that because you know. My attention can be all over the place, and others as well. And I see things that other people don't see. And so I take that as a gift. And I'd like to hear your perspective as maybe the higher purpose and reasoning why we as people have chosen to experience what's called ADD. And I when you say um, ADD, like, you are really talking about attention deficit disorder. And that Correct. is, as you have given, a label. 
It is a label that has been given by your medical establishment that there are people that have this so-called disease or uh, influence. It is not even a disease. It is more of an influence, a personality influence here. And yes, there are many that so-called have this, but it is not something to be concerned about because certainly as you move higher in vibration, all of these types of things will be uh, eliminated completely from your lives here. So uh, we would say to uh, just be aware that it might be there and someone might be experiencing this type of uh, attention difficulty here. Even this one we speak through believes at times that he has this and others around him think that he has this as well. But it is not something to be concerned about because you overcome it if you uh, allow yourself to do so. Now, when we say you overcome it, there are those that are overcome by it. So you must come to understand that as well. Many do buy into these labels. And when they buy into these labels, they become what they are being labeled as. Okay, Shoshana. Yes, we have a perspective here, dear sister. May we share? Absolutely, please. Dear sister, we wish to ask a question here. Do you enjoy yes. Do you enjoy books? Yes, but I have challenges in saying, settled, settling enough to read them. Do you enjoy small books? Um, no comments. I enjoy listening to books. Um, more audio than and I visual in other areas. So we will say that there is a percentage of the population of humans that learn in many different ways. One way that they learn is called auditory, and others are visual, others are kinesthetic, others are all three, others are just one, and that is not our point. Our point is, is that you are all normal. You see, the medical profession, the professions that, that have risen to wish to label all of you so that they may profit from this and give their medications for this are just that. They wish to, to decipher behavior. There is no deciphering behavior in humans. There are quirky humans, there are quiet humans, there are humans that are distracted off, and all of this is just behavior. It's just a way that the being moves through their path. And it is best for all of us to not judge this to not label it, to not call ourselves by those names, you see. What one who serves has given that you become the label that you define yourself as is absolutely true. Here's a great label for all of you. You are all normal. Namaste. Thank you. Very good. Would there be any other questions before we release channel? Yes, this is Linda. I have a question, please. Yes. I would like to follow up a little on what the guardian had given to us and that they have been watching us. And as you, as part of the council, can you direct this group as to where we can direct our energies, our focus, our attention to that next step to help push things over the edge, so to speak? so that things become lighter for all of us and for the rest of the world. Thank you. Yes, it, it is quite simple here. Find the joy in the moment. Find the gratitude 
that you all need to have as you continue to rise in vibration. And as you continue to rise in vibration, you will find that there will be more joy and more gratitude. And as you have more joy and more gratitude, your vibration will continue to increase. That is what we have been telling you in many different ways over and over and over for quite some time now. And that is what you need to uh, incorporate into your daily lives more and more. <coughs> Find the beauty. Be in nature whenever you can. See the beauty. Feel the beauty. Be the beauty all around you. That is what we would say here. Shoshana. We will share here, if we may. May we share, dear sister? Yes, thank you. Dear sister, we hear every call that you participate in. When you are giving your tools of protection and you expand upon them and add a thing here and add a thing there to more broadly bring humanity to a pinnacle of light. We hear that. And we are so emotionally overtaken by your love for all, by your desire to uplift, by your desire to bring joy, bring light, bring understanding, bring compassion to the planet and to those around you. So when you ask, what can we do, what can we focus on, we will tell you, you are already doing it, you see. Just do what you are doing as you are making a great difference for those on this call, those that hear you, and those that are in your presence. Namaste. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I ask a quick question, please? Yes. We take one more um, question, and we're ready to release Jana. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we all know the vaccine is detrimental to the immune system and the body. And I just wanted to know... Um, if getting the, I, I, I have not gotten, I will not get the vaccine, but a friend of mine has been vaccinated and suddenly last week she's now in the hospital with lung cancer. And I'm wondering if the vaccine actually can target cancer as well as, you know, blood clots, heart, everything. It may be an obvious question, but I'm just wondering because my intuition tells me that maybe the vaccine propelled the lung cancer. Can you address that, please? Share. Yes, please do. Dear sister, may, may we share yes. on this? Yes, please. Dear sister, sadly, this is accurate. This one that we speak through has had the exact same experience as one member of her family that received this this vaccine, it is not a vaccination, you received this, this shot, was triggered, and was diagnosed with lung cancer stage four, as she had the marker for this, as they told her. So we will tell you that those that have a genetic disposition to a, a physical malady, a physical disease that has been infiltrated into the human body will be and could be triggered by the particles in this shot. We are so sorry to give you this, but this is what is happening. And those that made an agreement to do this, made an agreement to receive this shot and become ill for the profound understanding and awakening of humanity. And that is what they are sacrificing themselves 
so that mm -hmm. those that are awake can help others become more awake. Namaste. Yes, this is all part of the depopulation plan by those of the nefarious ones that purposefully had these various ingredients added to this so-called shock that would trigger those various uh, genomes within the people. Not everyone, of course, from some just simply they received what you call a placebo or a saline solution or something of this nature. Of course, those in the uh, so-called leadership positions, they received saline solutions and they knew that's what they were getting. That's why they took it, you see. Others know what is in this and will not even take it. Even one that is one of these nefarious ones, we will not mention his name at this point, but he himself is pushing it everywhere, but yet he has not taken it himself and will not. So understand that uh, it is all purposeful by those ones to bring about the various triggers within the system of those that are ready for this or agreed to this as Shoshana has given here. Okay, we are ready to release channel. We have one email question. You can give that now. Yes, thank you. The person is asking if the quarantine camps, the FEMA camps, are being built to house the unvaccinated or others. Thank you. That's what they were built for, but that is not what they are going to be used for. That is what you need to come to understand. It is not going to happen as they have planned. You are already seeing the results of this in various areas here in this country, certainly, as those more and more throughout the country are going without the masks, without the control, saying we will not comply, we will not go along with this. And there are those in the world, in various countries of the world, that are saying no more. We are not going to put up with this. There are demonstrations and protests and everything. So it is not going to happen the way they planned it to happen. That is their new world order. That is their depopulation plan to divide those of you. And rather than divide, they are actually causing the exact opposite in more and more that are awakening in bringing togetherness here. Together we stand. Divided you fall. And that is what they want, to divide you. But that is not what is happening now. Okay, Shoshana. We will just say that we agree and that this is another fear tactic, another way to bring terror to humanity. And we must understand that there are 700 billion people on your planet. And... 7 billion. Well, we think there are 700 billion, but yes, seven, we apologize. Yeah. 7 billion. <laughs> Seven billion on this planet, and they cannot possibly, possibly imprison all. This is a fear tactic. One must not pay attention to this. Namaste. Yes. Do you have any parting message here before we release here? We do. We would like to say that each one of you that carries the light, that brings the light, that anchors the light, is so necessary, is so important in the movement of this great awakening, and that we will say how valued you are in the beyond, in the other dimensions as you are creating another path in other dimensions that did not exist before because of your purity of heart and your faithfulness to the truth. 
Namaste. Yes, and we just simply say continue to look beyond the illusion and hold the line because the best is indeed yet to come. Shanti, peace be with you. Be the one.